Me to be a Husker is just crazy. Like you're part of a tradition here. You're part of a family. Um, it's, it's being part of more than yourself. Like you're representing um, the other sports, the the school, and everything. And to be a Husker, to me, it's it's crazy because I mean, go Big Red, all that stuff. I hope the team can remember me as like a hard worker uh, and like the coaches maybe that I listen to them well. For me, I'm like a nervous wreck in the inside, but I don't show it on the outside. But um, to actually play, it feels good to actually to go out there on the field and stuff. Well, at home games, I try to listen. Well, actually, both games, I just try to listen to music that would calm me down, like slow kind of music or Christian gospel music. And then also just going over the package, uh, the package we have that we get from the coaches. Green sets, throws over the middle, pass deflected, deflected again, and then picked off on the second deflection by Eric Hay. I'm going to miss the most the people I've met and the, like the, the interactions with the teammates, but especially the DBs. Um, and it's like having brothers in there, like talking to my two brothers at home, like we're all really close like that. Uh, especially like even with Coach Sanders, he's like another dad in there. I mean, we all get along. He can be considered a brother too. And it's just really cool. I would say if a fan, like if the fans asked me, I would say they're great. They're just really cool because they they travel with us well. I mean, they're always cheering us on, good or bad. And they're just awesome. They're loud when we need them to be loud. They're, they're just they're like out there with us. It seems like on the field. The last home game, it's gonna be a crazy moment because it's of course my last game here. And I didn't think it was going to come this fast, but it, it, sure, it, it sure did. And it, it's going to be cool to play, but also I can't be thinking about it too much because i got to be out there playing. He's back in the pocket, holding, looking, throwing down the seam. Higgs there, interception. Eric Hague with an INT at the 50. He's back down at the Washington 48 yard line. To listen to what the coaches have, listen to uh, the academic advisors, and then also just remember everything, like try to soak everything in. High snap, they're going to fake it. Tucker, a little pooch kick. Nebraska thinking about that, has a man deep. It's picked up back there by Eric Hague at the 10. Hague eludes one runner, gets up the field. Eric Hague to the 20. He's to the 30. He might go. 40, 50. Hague needs a block. Gets 140, 30, 20, 15, 10, 5. Yes! Touchdown, Nebraska. Eric Hague. Most memorable moment. I had a big play at Iowa State in the overtime play, so that was pretty cool. And then it was special because it was the first overtime that we had. And then also, it's uh, we still have a chance to to go to win the Big 12 championship and maybe like a possible BCS game. Right up, and they're gonna fake it. They throw it out the flat. It's intercepted. 